Obviously, this week's a little different between international break, guys out, but it looked like a fast-paced training session today. How are the guys feeling? They're feeling good, uh, apparently. Uh, guys are flying. No, I mean, it's it's difficult after a um, few days off, you know, to, to, to find your, your groove again, and you do lose a little bit of uh, fitness. So... Um, uh, a little bit of explosiveness and, and, and recovery is, is gone and just needs to takes a couple of days to come back but then so uh, um, I'm huffing and puffing a little bit but it's good it's really nice to, uh, I think the trade-off is massive uh, it's it's a good thing to get away from it mentally for a little bit you know you like I said you may lose a tiny bit of fitness but we'll regain that quickly but I think what you gain from it mentally by being away from the game and and and, and the pressures of it all is is, is massive so uh, I take it that everybody Made sure they they utilized that break and, and got that out of it, and, and now we're back, back working hard. Um, and then obviously once the, the other guys rejoin us, we'll we'll get ready for Vancouver. Is it hard to find that balance of wanting to relax and get the mind off it, but also knowing what the next few weeks are ahead of you? No, it's not. I mean, when 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 the, when the gaffer gives you three days off and tells you to take it easy, you take it easy. It's it's quite simple, because um, I think we. You know, sometimes maybe young guys are a bit too eager, like, oh, you know, I want to gain a gain a step and and uh, and outdo others. But uh, I think you quickly learn in this league that when you when you get breaks, you you better take advantage of them. You know, the the travel adds up, the the physicality of this league adds up. And then for us, this is the third consecutive season in a row, almost. So uh, the, the the just just the overall um, toll that it takes on your body, it adds up. And so uh, again, like I said, I think people are. Veterans enough, and, and and young guys are are smart enough to follow the veterans when it means to, to shut it down and, and just get away from it. You do it to make sure that when we do come back out here, that you're you're refreshed and you're good to go. And this is when you now put into work. You talked a little bit about losing some of the uh, physical fitness. What about the men mental side of the game coming back after three days off? Yeah, that's like I said. That's that's the massive part of, of being three days off is mentally having a break and 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 getting away from the pressures and get you know spending some time with your family, kids, as you wish. Play video games 24/7, whatever floats your boat. You know, just get away from soccer. Honestly, it's 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 very very important because uh, um, it is uh, it affects it affects uh, all all facets of your life. I think uh, what, what happens in, in on, on the pitch, you know, and uh, it was really nice. I think for us to to go into this break with uh, with the streak intact with a win on on last weekend against Kansas City because then you, you can really relax you can really shut down and and just forget about it because you feel like you've earned it uh, you know and if that result doesn't go away maybe you guys are a bit more anxious to get back on the field but it's worked out quite well for us right now and and uh, yeah um, everybody knows about what the physical aspect and sees us working out here but not too many people know what it goes on in in people's brains and and uh, mental aspect of what it means to be a professional athlete. So uh, that's a huge part, and, uh, and and breaks like these are important. How have you felt the locker room in regards to knowing that you're on a good streak, but there's still work left to be done? I feel good. Um, I feel good. We have a good mix. Um, we've stayed even keel throughout the whole year. I think it's allowed us to to climb out of the hole and find a, find ourselves in this situation now um, because. You know, Matt Pence asked me what, what, what changed after the last loss, which I think was Portland. Um, it, it's it's not really what changed after that loss. It, it's it's what ke what did we keep doing after every loss? You know, we kept showing up for work and and believing that you know ah, something didn't work out. We need to work on it. We need to get better, better, better. But but keep on working. Never never give up. Uh, and I think that uh, that attitude has um, culminated in us finding a couple of wins and finding some confidence and has allowed us to go on the streak and so we, we feel good but I think it's been a trademark of, the, of this team you know to be even keel throughout seasons um, you know uh, extend your highs but uh, stay grounded and at the same time when, when, when you're when you when you're in a low streak when you're when you're suffering uh, dig deep and, and keep believing keep going and that's what we've been doing and that's what we're gonna try to keep doing. Chad Marshall's red card was rescinded. What's it been like for you to have a guy like Chad in front of you on the back line the last few years? And you know, what do you hope that you know from the continued that obviously in Vancouver and then for the rest of the year, just knowing that you have a guy like him in front of you? It's knowing that you have a guy in, like that in front of you. Consistency. You know, I think uh, goalkeepers are judged on their consistency, and uh, I think defense uh, defenders are, are probably the same. You know, you uh, it really helps when we know what we get out of people and and how they. 
how they react in situations, how uh, you know they minimize risks. That's that's Chad Chad Marshall right there. You know he's made a, a living out of this um, all his life and uh, quite 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 a good job uh, at doing so. So uh, uh, it, it, it's really nice because you, you don't really have to worry about him. Right, like I said, he's he's consistent and I know what what I'm getting with him. Um, so for the most part, I can just. Uh, Relax and then guide him a little bit here and there, giving him a couple of you know tactical things. When I see something, uh, I make him aware of maybe a guy creeping up from behind or something. But for the most part, I mean he's he's been there, done that a million times. So it's it's tremendous to have that kind of consistency. I know you probably get this question a lot, but you know when when you hear of the national team uh, being called you know Christian and things like that, and you're one of the best goals in the MLS, and, and you don't hear your name being called up. What goes through your mind, or what what exactly is that that you think about when when that doesn't happen? Uh, it's all an opinion, right? Um, you know, the people that that that, that pick all stars and and individual awards and all that; those are all opinions, and and you know, it's it's I would say it's probably biased, um, and at the same time, it's very very difficult to to not be biased. You know, I mean. You know, there's there's a lot of the media guys that, that are on the east coast and they don't they hardly get to see things on the west coast and so how you know when they say when they say uh, when they see Bill Hamid and and Robles and all those guys play 90 minutes consistently and they don't see anything over here then um, it's it, it's difficult right um, also obviously with the national team right now we're a bit of a I think in a youth uh, um, you know we're trying to give the youth, find a youth. Uh, give them a chance, and I think that's 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 vital. That's important. That's massive. But uh, for me, the the one opinion or that, that that counts the most is what happens here. You know, this club, my my teammates, um, my coaches, uh, my GM, my fans, my family. That's it. Uh, I could care less about the rest because uh, that's like like I said. There's so many variables that I can't control. I try to 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 please everybody here and 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 play my part and and help this team win.